Hey, um, so for today we are looking at the race for empires and you are doing a little bit of examination into some different explorers who came to America. We've kind of already talked about these guys a little bit, but because we did Constitution Day yesterday, I wanted to kind of create a review before, before we talk about what else is going on at that time. So here is the reading, which I'm going to now read to you. Spanish Explorers of America. Who was the first explorer of America? Do you know? Some people think it was Christopher Columbus. Some people think it was a Viking named Leif Erikson. Others credit a Chinese monk named Huai Xin. The first explorers from Spain were led by Columbus. He was sent by Isabella, the Queen of Spain. His job was to find a shorter way to get to China. It took months to get to China by sailing around Africa. Columbus thought he could get there by sailing due west. When Columbus sailed west in 1492, he did not find China. He found the island of Haiti. He thought this land was really India and called the natives Indians. He soon found out he was wrong. That did not matter. He saw that the land was good and the people had gold. He went back to Spain and told the queen. She was very happy with him. He made three more trips back to the New World. Many people in Spain wanted more money. Some thought they could get rich quick in the New World. One of those men was Vasco Balboa. During his search for gold in 1513, he crossed Panama. On the other side, he saw the Pacific Ocean. He claimed it for Spain. That same year, Ponce de Leon began to explore Florida. He called it that because of all the flowers. He tried to start many, many settlements. He also looked for something. He tried to find the Fountain of Youth, but he never did. The King of Spain saw that the New World was full of riches. He wanted more gold. He was fighting wars at home and needed the money. To get more gold from the New World, soldiers called conquistadors were sent in. Their job was to stop the natives from fighting the Spaniards. The soldiers killed thousands of people, but sickness killed even more. Some of the soldiers were led by a man named Cortez. In 1519, a man named Ferdinand Magellan began to sail around the world. He took five ships. He crossed the Atlantic Ocean and sailed around the bottom of South America. Then he sailed northwest again. The ships got to the Philippine Islands where Magell Magellan was killed in a fight with the natives. After three years, only one of the ships made it home to Spain again. Hernando de Soto did not just look for gold in the New World. He looked for cities of gold. In 1539, he began to search for seven gold cities of Cibola. He wanted to add the gold to Spain's wealth. He died during the search. A man named Cor Coronado took over the search in 1540. Neither of the men ever found the fabled cities. They did explore a lot of America's southwest. Spain claimed much of the land in Central America and Florida. They did not make colonies in the colder parts of America. That was left to England, France, and others. So your assignment for today is to go to the end of this and answer these six or these eight questions. What you can do is you can type your answers in the online text box or you can print this off, fill it out, and scan it back into me. That's what you need to do to finish this lesson. If you would like help at any time, you may call me, you may email me, you can send me a Gchat, whatever it takes. Good luck and don't forget to let me know if you need anything.